What's up? Ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, it's Data here with another gameplay. That's a nostalgic intro right there. Don't worry about the video in the background. Today's video is just about game news. So before we get into it, I ask you please go hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I go live and when I upload a video. Also, it helps out the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Mario All-Stars coming off Nintendo Switch Marketplace. We're going to be talking about a possibility, actually it's more than a possibility, of a brand new Switch coming out. Talking about the new game modes coming to Warzone. And the best one we're saving for last, which is Battlefield 6. Battle, Battlefield, Battle, Battlefield 6. And how we know the location, because it was leaked to us. Stay tuned. 5.21 million copies of Super Mario All-Stars being sold. And it's going to be coming off Nintendo's Marketplace on March 31st. When they first announced it, they also did state that. But I don't think many people actually believe them. Nintendo's marketing scheme seems to always work, so we can go ahead and just expect this to be true. But it's already in March of 2021. I know, that's crazy. But March 31st, closely approaching. If you haven't already purchased All-Stars, go ahead and do it now, because on March 31st, it's going to be yesterday's news. Unable to get it. But when you purchase that, you're also going to be getting Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and my favorite, Super Mario Sunshine. Me personally, I haven't bought it, but I do intend on buying it. So this way I can take a trip down memory lane. It looks like the reason they're removing it is for the next game that they're going to be remastering. Legend of Zelda. Next up in gaming, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch and what you can expect for the new one. Should be ramping up production in June and hopefully dropping it in the stores of July of this year, 2021. Now, we heard this last time, and it ended up being just a Switch Lite, and I don't really, I didn't care much, much for it, but I know people did, just because it's a lot smaller and more handheld -y words. But this one's going to be coming in at 7 inches with an OLED screen, 720p resolution, and handheld mode alone. But if you dock it, and I know you will, it's going to be rocking 4K resolution. Now, I'm interested to see what kind of frames we're looking at. More than likely, it's just going to be 30. But if they could pull off 60 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch at 4K, it'd be great. Also, allowing them to go back and, I guess, remaster some of the older games like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'd love to see that in 4K. That would make my day. That's a nice little rhyme. You can hit the like button for that one. It does make sense that this would be the time for them to drop a new Nintendo Switch because it's already in its midlife cycle. That is crazy. I feel like it just came out yesterday. But yesterday, if that was the case, was 2017 in March. So it makes perfect sense that while we're hearing about it now, because it's March 2021. Again, I'm just as surprised as I think you are. Up next, we're going to be talking about Battlefield 6. And oh man, am I excited for this game. Just like millions and millions of you guys. But you guys and me, eventually, we'll, we'll get there. Don't worry. Battlefield 6 is set to be coming out and has been confirmed to come out later this year. We do not know much too much information about it, but we do know some things. The fact that it's going to be massive, massive destruction on every level, and I'm excited to see that. I'm expecting that you can blow a crater 50 meters into the ground. That's going to be awesome. Probably not that far. But it appears that everything's going to be destructible from all the rumors. And 100, wait for it, just a whopping 128 player count is also rumored. But that's not what we're talking about today. In today's news, it looks like eagle-eyed fans have realized that the coordinates hidden in the last teaser trailer actually reveal a location. And it might be just information that we need just to know that we're going to be in a modern setting. That location revealed Kazakhstan. I think that's I think that's how you pronounce it. I tried getting Google to help me out, and my pronunciation isn't always that great. But if that is the case, that would be pretty dope for us to go back to a modern era just because I'm tired of World War II, tired of World War I. Even though Battlefield I was absolutely amazing, I just dropped my notepad. That's a fail. 
You guys ever drop your notepad? Anyways, it looks like it's going to be in a modern setting. I'm super, super excited about. Are you guys excited about? So far, if you're if you got this, if you got this far, leave in a comment section below what you're most excited about. The Switch, Battlefield Six, Mario All Stars. You're going to be purchasing it, or what's up next? And that's Call of Duty War. Series of Call of Duty Warzone voice lines have leaked, suggesting that the game could include new modes such as Plague and sandbox that might also have some racing activities involved in it that I'm, I'm a little skeptical on but that would be interesting to see some racing going on in warzone as spotted by pc gamer and zesty cod leaks they were able to show that these lines state and hint at possible game modes that are coming such as x uh exfiltration which is already out uh, i'm sure a bunch of y'all played it i tried playing that today personally and uh well i don't understand it i'm not good at it but we're not even going to talk about that even though we hinted at it one of the lines stated we cannot lose verdant uh, verdansk to these darn zombies hinting that there's a bunch of plague zones and you're gonna have to fight them so we don't really know exactly what it's going to be meaning, but it does look like, and it's hinting at, some more game modes that are going to be coming to Warzone. Which is exactly what it kind of needs, along with, you know, an anti-cheat that they're currently working on. And amongst other things, in order to bring back Warzone. Because it's already got, like, this, this tarnish, tarnish to its name. And a lot of people just aren't liking it. I've moved away from it, and I would like to come back to it. But if we could just get the anti-cheat... And some skill-based matchmaking reduced or whatever they're doing to or at least get it fixed. Like, skill-based matchmaking is in a lot of games, but you don't really notice it because it works the way it's supposed to. But in Warzone, it's just a no-go. Also, what I want... Listen, Activision. Can you give me an FOV slider for console and everyone else? I have a next-gen console and I can't even do that. Please? That's going to do it today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Please like the, bu uh, like the button. Please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys.